What's happening guys, Mike here from Home Fitness again. Look, today's topic, I want to teach you how to learn something brand spanking new. Now, I bet you can associate the feeling of actually learning something new not being incompetent about something, and how does it make you feel when you actually learn something new? It makes you feel pretty good, boosts your confidence, boosts your self-esteem, that's pretty much what I'm getting at with this video and trying to help you learn whatever it is that you want to learn as a person because it just makes you feel good. Plus, it may be handy in the future. Anyway, not only to mention it actually boosts and stimulates new neuropathways, and it actually prevents Alzheimer's. How good is that? So, why not learn something new? Okay, so it can actually be quite daunting in learning something new, really frustrating, and I'm sure you've been there before, whether it be mathematics at school, whether it be riding a bike or a skateboard, or trying to play the guitar. I'm not one for myself trying to actually learn the guitar, but trying to ride a bike, I'm sure we've all been there, and the frustrations you can go through is to actually just give it up. Now, that's all intellectual. Everyone's got a capability of learning something intellectually and uh, the only thing standing is the, in the way is the emotional side of things not only are you going to get frustrated and paid off but it's why you're doing it in the first place so you got to ask yourself that as well pretty much you want to find the emotional side to get through the emotional side now i hope that makes sense because there is going to be some frustrations and some boundaries or borders where you're going to hit and you want to get through those things with your reasoning or why you're actually learning what you're learning. Now, here's a fun fact that's actually probably going to be a bit shocking for you. So, when I looked up how long does it actually take you to learn something, a lot of studies were coming back with 10,000 hours. Now, as shocking as that sounds, that's actually all the studies done for an expert level, all right? So, if you think about that, that's like a full-time job for about five years. That's a long time, and I don't think anyone has that amount of time if they want to continuously be learning something new all the time, like a guitar, but like I said, expert level. Now, here's the good part. There has been studies to actually prove how long it actually takes to get from complete incompetency to reasonably good. Okay, so it's almost like a graph that does this. You're pretty much going to start learning uh, from incompetence to pretty much reasonably good. And to get that expert level, you actually start plateauing and it's not actually... Uh, your learning capabilities slow down, okay, because there's more and more to learn uh, and the amount you're actually picking up through neuro pathways is actually slowed, okay, so from pretty much getting from incompetence to reasonably good, it's only 20 hours. 20 hours is the, almost the most crucial bit, pretty much just like a baby in their lifetime. The first four years of a kid, they are like a sponge in learning, soaking up new things, trying to develop themselves within that four year period. So this is like the 20 hours. This 20 hour window is your most important. If you stick to this 20 hours, with focus and attention, you will actually become reasonably good. Now imagine being able to learn something new every three weeks. So if you stuck to something for three weeks, took an hour a day to learn it, imagine how many things you could get through and how many things you can learn in a year. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna break it down into four steps on how to actually learn in this 20 hour period. So step number one is actually to de construct the skill. All right, so I'm gonna use something that pretty much I've learned myself, which is the BMX. Now, this could literally come down to what is your what is your outcome? What is your intention? What do you actually want to achieve by the end of this learning? All right, so say for example, if I went from total incompetency to wanting to do a backflip, okay? Breaking down the skills. First things first, if I don't know how to ride a bike, I'd want to learn how to not only balance, so maybe even getting on the bike and rolling, see if I can balance. The next thing is to pedal, pedal while standing up, maybe even trying to hop or maybe even trying to manual. And I'm probably taking this a bit quick now, but every time that you can actually break a skill down, the more you're able to actually take each piece individually, learn that, and then actually start applying that, okay? So don't try to master too many things at once because if you try to get on the bike and do it, try to do a backflip while you don't even know what you're doing, well, I bet you can guess where that's going to end up and it's not good. Step number two is to self-correct. This is the most important thing, okay? And I bet you can actually re uh, resonate with this 
Anytime that you've actually gone into any field of skill or expertise, you probably learned the most when you're actually applying it. Okay, I can actually say for myself when I did my PT course at Big Fitness Academy, the amount I learned in the first month probably was tenfold to the amount I learned over the one year period that I was actually trying to soak in uh, information that they were giving me. Not that they didn't teach me much, but the actual effort to actually apply uh, in a physical and mental nature where I was actually taking what I learned and applying it, I learned so much quicker. So from doing that, I actually learned what not to do and what to do. And I think that's the biggest thing, okay? And that's where you're going to have to self-correct yourself and be able to do things in the way that you need to do them. Because everyone's different, you actually may learn differently. So self-correcting and learning how you want to learn or how you learn best is the most important thing. Step number three is actually getting rid of any distractions, okay? I've spoken about this before and the power of focus. All right, so you can actually build up that willpower and focus muscle called myelin. The more you actually take away any distractions, literally have laser-like focus on the exact thing you're doing, the more you're actually able to build up a chemical inside your brain called myelin. The more you build this up, the more focus and attention you have, and the faster you'll be able to learn your skill that you're trying to achieve. So if you're trying to learn the guitar, Take away Facebook, take away your computer, take away your television, take away anything that's going to distract you from what you're actually trying to do. That way you can actually focus on what you're doing and learn it a lot quicker. Step number four is 20 hours. Apply this for 20 hours and like I said before, you're gonna come up to barriers and pretty much things that's going to just annoy you because you're not picking it up, your brain's fresh to it and it's really just a new thing that you're trying to do. Yes, it can get distracting. So 20 hours is the minimum that you actually have to put in with, like I said, focus, okay, 20 hours. Another tip to go about the best way to actually achieve these 20 hours is actually to book in times. Kind of like uh, scheduling, you want to schedule that, let's say one hour a day for three weeks, okay? This way you're actually committing and that way you can achieve the 20 hours and learn what you want to learn. Now, please listen to this carefully. The only reason you don't know how to do something is because you haven't been taught it. So if you get to something, and this is ridiculous because people get themselves down on something they don't know how to do. That is absolute crap. It's literally just because you have not been taught this or you either haven't been taught it or you didn't have enough reason or emotion backing that learning or you pretty much didn't need to learn it at the time that you were getting taught it. So for instance, a good example is I may have needed it, but I probably didn't see myself needing it. It was maybe math. So I didn't pay enough attention with mathematics at school in algebra. When I was doing it, it just didn't seem like something I needed, therefore I didn't actually take it in, I didn't focus and I didn't really learn it properly. I didn't get a bad score, but I could have done a lot better because emotionally I didn't think I needed it, therefore the reason wasn't there. Now you need to find your reason, okay? Intellectually, you can literally learn anything you want, okay? Learning anything you want is going to boost your self-esteem, boost your confidence. Whether it be to show off to other people, help other people, whatever it may be, find your reason and find your why. Why are you learning what you want to learn and achieve? Because you can achieve anything that you want to achieve. That is it for today, guys. I hope that really helps. And please let me know what you learn in the next three weeks. If you actually take these steps on board, please let me know. I'd love to actually hear you play guitar, see you ride a bike, whatever it is. Hit me up in Facebook. Please give our page a like and even jump across your our YouTube channel getting updated every single week with new tips and ideas for your fitness and health journey. All right, love you guys to bits. I'll see you guys in the next video.